Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and uh, this is a demo of what Google Signals is. So I just logged in into my analytics account and suddenly I got this pop-up introducing Google Signals beta and uh, unlock across device capability and more. I clicked on get started and here what I landed. So let me show you what exactly the steps are. So before that uh, I could see there is something called it includes new cross device reporting and remarketing more insights using google data all existing advertising feature so let's continue it so it's asking me to activate so i will just activate it for all properties in this account and uh, data sharing setting you have enabled so i already enabled this data sharing setting just clicking on activate you have activated Google signals uh, learn more about the new features so just hit on done okay so the option is actually available in data collection and uh, data collection for Google signals so it's on and hit on save So I think uh, the Google Signals is activated now for me. Let's learn more about what exactly it is. So the option to activate Google Signal will be rolling out all users in coming weeks. So if you don't see now, you will see soon. So there are some differences. What is the difference between the Google Analytics feature and the Google Signals that activated? So I could see that there are this audience that you create in Google Analytics and publish to Google Ads and other marketing platform. Cross device uh, eligible. So if uh, suppose you are creating an ad, uh, I mean to say like uh, if your user is uh, logging into mobile using an email, G Gmail ID and the same user is logged into desktop so now you can remarket on the both the platforms cross device just creating one ad so he will be considered as a single user since he is logged in into his gmail account from both uh, different devices we will analytics collect the additional information about the user who have turned ad personalization so there is some setting in uh, ads google ads uh, where you can just uh, enable or disable so based on that it will show the personalized ads so if you just uh, turn off that setting it will uh, show uh, some irrelevant ad which is uh, not useful so it's better to have a personalized ad rather than having irrelevant ad demographics and interest reports it's also collect uh, and the uh, cross device reports so this is something i haven't seen so maybe uh, we need to see if there is some report that will be added in here let's see it would be mostly in audience uh, yeah i can see there is one uh, new tab here cross device so with this uh, we can understand like what are the users who are actually using cross device like from mobile to desktop and desktop to mobile and uh, all those data we can have so currently sorry you across device reports do not have enough data since I just activated it so I don't have a data device path channels acquisition devices okay so there are lot more reports on this so I'm just waiting for data to come up here maybe I will uh, show you how the data is appearing in here after once I receive this uh, enough data for that reporting uh, that's all for today uh, I think I would be covering some videos later on so please subscribe uh, so please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a great day.